Prosecond. All right, density melting point, boiling point. Density, melting point, boiling point. And so halogens we're referring to chlorine, chlorine, bromine, Iodine. In terms of density, melting point, boiling point, what is the trend for group seven? It increases, it increases down the ground. All right, all of, right, all of them the increase. Right. Yeah. Everything increased. They go down the group. All right. Increase. Going down the group. Reason. And the reason why it's there because the group. Uh, this it's force of attraction because of the inter yeah go ahead quickly because of the intermolecular bond which is the bond wall we hold it together so as it as the size I increase the bond wall then gets stronger right. so it's harder to break the bond that is correct hence why the melting point Right. So for a melting and boiling point, we use the intermolecular force of attraction, which is Van der Waals force of attraction. All right. For Van der Waals force of attraction, the strength increases as the number of electron and size of the molecule atom and size of the atom increases. So clearly, as you go down the group, right? From fluorine to chlorine to bromine to iodine, the size of the atom is getting larger and the number of electrons are increasing. So the strength of the Wanderwall force increases. Once it gets stronger, it will require more energy. Hence, more energy is. And a higher melting point. Hence, is required to break okay. as I go down the group, the atom gets bigger and the number of electrons increase. That makes the Van der Waal force get stronger. Get stronger more energy is needed, right? For density, the atoms get heavier, right? As I go down the group, the atoms increase in size. Going down the group, the atoms increase in size and get heavier. As size and mass is different. Right? So that is it for the density, melting point, boiling point. Ready again? Yes, sir. Right. Here. There are joints. Simple displacement reaction. In terms of reactivity, what is the trend for, for reactivity? 
or it dumped down the group? It decreases down the group. All right, so reactivity decreases down the group. Yes, I said the meta reactivity series. No, 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 group seven. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? Right, so reactivity decreases down the group. Give me a second. Right, so reactivity decreases down the group. And the reason for this, give me a second, the atoms get larger. So can say atomic radius increase. Atomic radius increase. They can say atoms get larger if you want. Shielding increases. Shielding increases the attraction between the nucleus and valence electron decreases. All right, so that is why we have. Activity will decrease. So since they I can write up at the hmm? they can write up at the top groups of a metal so I can screenshot it and all this year. Yeah, elegant. All right. So decreasing down the group is the trend and then they over the saw at a user for trend. Yeah. Right, so read my example. So the trend is reactivity decrease down the group. Chlorine will displace chlorine, bromine, iodine. Chlorine will displace bromine and iodine. Bromine will displace iodine and iodine none. So you have a reaction between, let's say, a Br plus Cl two. What will be your What will be your product? KCl. Br two. KCl plus Br two. Put the two in front of the KCl. All right. Yeah, this is because the Cl have a displaced bromine. Yeah. So. That is what, all right, so I mentioned it here. So basically, so you don't have to sort this. If you know that the reactivity decreases down the group, chlorine is above bromine. So if whatever is above will displace what is below. So chlorine can displace bromine. All right. Then no, let me get our next one. You have K I and you work it with BR2. What will you get? No product will be. Will be? Sorry, the BR. 
KBR and KBR. I'm... Oh, yes. And I. Too. Right. What yeah. is the what is the ionic equation for this? It would be two i minus two i minus. Um, producing i two. No ionic equation. Oh. Okay. All right, before we go to the ionic, what is being oxidized and what is being reduced? The I a B. The I is being reduced and the BR uh -huh. is being oxidized. What is the oxidation state of, of iodine here? I don't know. You know, that would be negative one to negative zero. one. It is in group theta seven. Theta oxidized. Right. Over here. Okay. Over here, it is what? Zero. Why it is zero? Because it's in a natural, because it's natural, natural state. state. All right. And what is it for bromine here? Zero. And here it is? Negative one. Negative one. If it is in group seven, it is negative one. Negative one. Right. So the oxidation state for, iod for the iodide ion, it decreased from negative one. No, it increased from negative one to zero. It was oxidized. Okay, yeah. So this reaction, it can come under group seven or it can come in module one. For oxidation. So I minus, give I two. Balance yeah. Where should I put the electron? Over on the product line. Right. On the product. And for the reduction equation, what should I write? On the reaction, say I would say Br2. Br2. Plus 2e minus. React to produce 2Br. All right. So what is the ionic equation? So 2i minus. i yeah. minus plus. Plus Br2. Br2. React to produce mm -hmm. i2. A2. Plus two VR. Plus two VR. And the state symbol in my first for eight years. Right. right. Yeah. Uh, thermal stability. Other trends, you can study them then. Under some saturation. Let me see if there was anything else I wanted to find out. Allergens that need explaining. No, the other trends, you can just study the other trends. All right, hold on. Can I clear the screen? How is it? Wait, sir. Wait, I'm going to screen chat. All right. All right, I can go on. Um, qualitative analysis. The halogens. Oh, I'm just seeing a message. I'm just going to answer it and then I move on. Shielding increase because the atoms are getting bigger. So for fluorine, it would have two shells. For chlorine, would have three shells and it continues like that for bromine and iodine. So if the amount of shells are increasing, the shielding is increasing. Yes, sir. The amount of electron shells and right. melting point increases. All right. Um, silver nitrate, we test for halide ions. What is the reagent? They use silver nitrate or lead or lead nitrate. All right, so we use so for this silver nitrate and how you confirm it. All right, you so I'm with the so it's nitric acid with silver nitrate, and you confirm it with what? Aqueous ammonia. Aqueous ammonia. Yeah. NH3 aqueous. All right. When you add it to silver nitrate, so bromide ion, chloride ion, iodide ion, with silver nitrate, the nitric acid is to remove impurities. All right. Silver nitrate, what is the color of the precipitate? Um, with, with the bromide ion. All right, so it's cream. Chloride ion will give you a white precipitate. 
Ayan, 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 we'll give you a uh, yellow. The, the bromide, ayan, no. When you're using the aqueous ammonia, will any of them dissolve? 